don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. That's a fact. You got the city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella? Yeah. It's your boy, I'm Class, and you are now tuning in to the Realist Reaction Channel on YouTube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you are notified every time I drop a new video. For you people that be watching my reactions and all that, my videos and stuff, man, I do music too and shit, you feel me? I didn't just start rapping, I ain't just start dropping music, it's just my old channel got terminated and all my music is gone. So a lot of niggas that just got in tune to who I am now, they feel like I just got lit now. I had another channel where I was more, you know what I mean? I was bringing in a lot of views on my other shit too, you feel me? But anyway, I just had to say that because a lot of people... They think they know something, and they actually don't. So, I had to just clear that up real quick. But, yeah. I'm sure about the title. Y'all very curious, and that's why y'all here. Y'all want to y'all wanna know the story, you know? I got some of the details for y'all, okay, you know? Like I said, we're getting some of the information on it and from certain credible sources that tell me why I want you feel me? I'm drinking my mango, ne mango nectar right now. It should be hitting for the high. You know what I mean? But anyway, y'all. Okay, so the situation with Bills. From what's going on on the internet is that Bills got his chain robbed. You feel me? And they caught him lacking and took his chain from him. His chain is circling on the internet in a lot of different people's lives, a lot of pictures. Going crazy, you feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people right now, after this video drop, is going to be very upset that I made this video. They're going to be very upset that I made this video. But I don't give a fuck. And I don't, I don't agree with coonery and all of that shit. You feel me? I don't really agree with the coonery. You feel me? If, if niggas do something... Niggas gotta be more authentic with it, you feel me? Like, all right, there's several stories going around. They say the, the chain was took from Dense Flocks, right? That's what they said. The chain got taken from Dense Flocks. The chain got taken from Bills. He was at a party, or all type of stories. But like I told y'all, I got my facts from a reliable source. And that source says the chain was took in, in a snatch and run. I wouldn't even a snatch and run, a snatch and drive. You feel me? All right. Um, the chain that Bills have, right? That You, you know, the SPNB chain. Um, he actually sold that chain to another person that's in the group. You feel me? So it doesn't really seem off. You know, for somebody to buy that chain and they not SPNB or whatever, I mean, it, it'd be kind of weird for anybody who isn't SPNB to buy that chain, you feel me? But it was another member of SPNB that bought the chain from Bills, you feel me? So, now, that person was wearing the chain, and they were outside, <laughs> and somebody drove past in the car asking for direction. I ain't gonna front. When niggas in cars, bro, especially you got beef, you never trust cars or niggas in cars, period. You gotta always pay attention, especially you know what's going on. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been son got killed. You feel me over the chain? Could have been worse. But anyway, they asked for directions. They was asking, yo. Do you know where such and such is? Like, how do you get to such and such? And I'm I'm still puzzled to why the person with the chain, I'm not going to say any names, but the person with the chain, I'm puzzled to the fact, it's like, why would you go to the car? Why would you go to the car with the chain, 
like, like, why would you go to the car where you're so close? Like, the person snatched the chain and drove off. Like, they grabbed it and drove while grabbing the chain. If that was a stronger chain, that man would have been dragging with the car. Like, you know, certain links is hard to pop and shit. Like, if that was a stronger chain, he would have been dragging him with the car. But what don't make sense is, to me, like, how the fuck... You were so close to a car, especially a stranger's car. You were supposed to have beef and all that. You got so close to the car with the chain was in, in arm's length to, to pop off your neck or whatever. Like, why would you, to give somebody directions, especially you know the vicinity or whatever. Niggas say, yo, you know how to get to, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that way. Three blocks up that way. Or, yo, go that way and make a right. Or, that go that way and make a left. It's no need to actually go to the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit didn't make no sense to me. That that part right there is what, what really lost me with the whole situation. It's like, why would you walk up to the car that close for niggas to be able to snatch your chain? Okay, now that the chain got took now, and all right, that we established where the chain got taken from, who the chain got taken from. Let's talk about people on the internet with the chain now and all that, showing the chain. I can't really give no credit or, or put no respect on nobody's name because the way the chain was obtained, it's like, all right, bro, yeah, nigga booked the chain, all right, the chain got booked. But if you booked the chain, you shouldn't make it to seem like you took it from somebody else or, you know what I mean, you took it a certain type of way. If you, you took it, all right, yo, yeah, niggas got it off his mans. Da, da, da. You didn't have to get into detail exactly how you took the chain because you, know, you basically going on the internet. I admit to robbery, even though you already did that, basically, you feel me? You be admitting to robbery. Well, technically, that's what niggas did when they went on the internet saying that they took the chain from somebody else. But I feel like that shit is corny, the way niggas went about it. Okay, niggas obtained the chain, niggas got the chain. All right, that chain was owned by such and such, but at the end of the day... If you took the chain a certain way, you shouldn't lie and say, yo, this how you got the chain. Because that shit, that shit is not, you know? That shit is not respectable. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, all right, niggas got the chain, all right. You already book somebody. Obviously, you book an SPNB nigga for the chain. They just say, yo, you know what? We didn't get it from Bills. We got it from this person. But anyway, nevertheless, it's still the chain. And it's still from somebody from their camp. You feel me? But to put it on the person who's known for the chain and, and like, the person who has the bigger name. Obviously, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing, y'all. So don't quote me on it. I'm guessing the reason why they didn't say that person because he didn't have a, as, as much of a name as the original owner of the chain, you feel me? So now it's more clout behind saying you took the chain from Bills than it is saying you took the chain from the other person that really got the chain taken from them. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not um it's not Dan's flocks too, because a lot a lot of people are saying it's Dan's flock, but it's the chain didn't get taken from Dan's flocks either, you feel me? The chain got snatched in a in a in a drive by. That was a drive by snatching. Feel me? You know, obviously Bill's probably is not gonna speak on the situation because you know certain people rather keep certain shit in the street than to social media. You know, you gotta always respect a nigga that want to keep it in the street than on social media. He might want to keep it in the street. Feel me? So that's probably why he didn't respond yet. But there are certain details too that if you really pay attention to that you that you know that he didn't get his chain snatched because that same night that chain situation was happening the same night the chain got snatched you feel me shots was fired you feel me shots was fired down 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 the block where it happened that shots was fired you feel me so niggas was shooting apparently at the car of the niggas who snatched the chain I guess you feel me but I, I we not giving no names in no situation like that we just gonna keep it. You know what I mean? Simple and shit. But anyway, shots was fired. Whoa, whoa. And Bills also posted that night too. And he had other chains on. Like, 
he had diamond chains that was a little bit more iced out than the one that was taken. So I feel like if somebody robs him, mind you, he's he's handicapped, he's in a wheelchair, there's not much he can do. It's not like he can chase you down or or nothing like that, you feel me? And for you to catch him, you would either have to catch him in a car or catch him rolling around in his in his wheelchair. You wouldn't catch him like just post it up. Cause you feel me? He, he you know what I mean? So if you caught him for his chain, his chain, you would have took the rest of the chains that he had also, you know what I'm saying? The rest of the chains that he had on his neck, because he took a picture the same night. He had more than one chain on his neck, you feel me? So, niggas would have took the other chain. And that picture that he posted, he didn't have on the specific chain that got took. But he had on other sets of chains. So, I'm feeling like if niggas robbed him for that one chain, they would have took the other chains also, you feel me? Based on the story that's being told, not my story that I'm telling you now, not not, not the, the actual shit that happened. The stories that's being told on the internet, based on their story, if they robbed him and they took the chain from him or they caught him lacking and whatever, first of all, that's one of your biggest ops. If you catch him lacking and you able to take his chain, you would have took a lot more than his chain, you feel me? Because now it's nothing but space and opportunity. Because first of all, for you to be able to rob him, you was real close. You could have stabbed him, shot him, whatever, you feel me? Happy that the chain got taken. Nobody really lost their life and shit. Cause like I be telling y'all, man, I don't care which side Wu Wu Cho folk crib. I don't really care about which side does this and that and the third. I really feel like everybody just need to be focused on money and like f forget the beef shit. Niggas don't gotta be friends, but niggas can forget the beef shit. So I'm just speaking on like I'm just speaking generally. You feel me? Not on no which side or I'm picking a side or none of that shit. I ain't picking no side. Cause that shit, that shit'd be stupid. If I pick a side, I get put in a mix of shit that I don't even want to have no, no fucking issues with. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I was saying, if the niggas took his chain, then they could have killed him. They didn't kill him. So then that that looks bad. You caught your op lacking, your biggest op, or one of your biggest op lacking. You didn't do nothing to him. Feel me? That's why what I just told y'all sounds more believable than you catching him lacking and just taking his chain. You feel me? Y'all be the judge of it. Y'all always got a different outlook on everything anyway. So y'all be the judge of it. Y'all say what y'all think in the comment section about the whole situation. You feel me? I really feel like niggas should end all this beef shit, man. Tell you the truth. Like, ain't no... It, it, everybody's beefing, but... A lot of y'all ain't rich. That's the crazy thing about it. Everybody beefing and y'all ain't rich. Notice, R.P. King Vaughn, he's way better off than a lot of niggas. And look, R.P. to him, So You see, it's, this shit is just crazy, you feel me? Oh, yeah, another thing mentioning King Vaughn, little sidebar. Um, a lot of y'all in the comment section of the video I made about the King Vaughn situation saying that I'm putting out false information. First of all, my video came out before the actual video of the shooting came out. Before that got leaked, I made my video before that. So the information that was out in, on Google and in, the, in little articles and papers and shit is what I made my video on and the voice recording of the, the police conversation. So y'all idiots who are in the comment section trying to say oh yeah you trying to do shit for cloud or you trying to know i made a video based on the information i was given you feel what i'm saying i'm not in georgia i'm not in tune to none of these niggas and they crew for me to make a call and find out like i am in tune in brooklyn you feel what i'm saying but anyway i just had to put that sidebar in there and shit but y'all comment in the comment section below let me know what y'all think about the whole situation. Get this video to 3K likes. You feel me? It's your boy, Upper Class. BMG got the city hot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. You got the city, I ain't know what's going on, man.